Okay, Leslie, here as we get started on your first swing. What we're going to notice is you look pretty good right here on this first swing as you're tracking to the ball plane, and you can see that your bat is perfectly on plane, the third eye looking at the ball. Now, at this point, you should be coming to impact, but you see your light bat is still lagging back. You want to hit the ball where the yellow dotted line is, and you're going to be late to get there. Here's Manny Ramirez. You can see the little red circle on the end of his bat, and then the little green dash line is the plane of the ball, and then him hitting the ball out front. We, we really need to change the plane of your swing. So you can see here, this is your swing. It looks like it's okay at this point. It, here we go again, and we're, we're late. We should be already getting the bat to the point of impact. And on this swing, as you bring your hands down and that bat on a downward angle, you can see you're right past the ball. So you're late to the impact. And you'll, you'll find that quite a bit during this uh, analysis that you're late. And we got to change your extension right here is Manny Ramirez, and you can see his hands and extension are a lot higher than yours. All right, here we go again on another swing, and you can see where the ball is right there on your hand. So impact, back plane, and extension are three things we have to get better with you. And look at the red line, which represents where the bat is, and the ball is already at your hands. And so you're just really late at the point of contact. Here's another swing, and there's your hands are dropping. It's a low pitch, but you really drop your hands. Another swing here. Look at where the ball is impacting right there at your hands. Now, look at how you then extend. You drop your hands and drag that bat down instead of coming on the ball plane, and you see that swing after swing. Then a lot of times you have this letter V. You see how you see the V between your arms and, and the hand as you flip the bat over. We've talked about many times. Um, here again, you're, you're better at impact right here, but you're still late to the ball. Another swing. And look how you drag your hands down, your extension. Now that's a little bit better. But your extension and your hands should be coming back to the pitcher. You don't stay it. Now, that looks really good at impact right here. Your hand's coming to me, and that's actually one of the better swings that you had during this time. See how late you hit that ball right there almost on your back foot? Here, you're tracking okay. The third eye sees the ball. But look what you do with your hands. You see the ball goes at a high upward pop-up angle, and you're dragging and dropping that bat way down. See the green line to see how your bat is swinging down. I mean, that we definitely need to get back to getting on the plane of the ball. See how late you were, even on that pitch right there, very late. There again, you get the pop-up because your hands are extending downward. Uh, your hands drop a little there, but that wasn't bad. And each one of your swings is the same. I'll say that for you. Look where you hit the ball right here. The ball is on your back shoulder by the time that you get to impact. And then you flip the bat over and get that letter V because you were late. See there again, hit the ball late and roll the bat across the top hit the ball late roll the bat across the top again hit the ball late <laughs> roll the bat across the top look at that letter v right there so this looks that that's where you want to be at impact and if we can get your hands to continue towards the pitcher that's actually a little bit better um as long as you you know you can get on that bat plane and stay on that plane and bring your hands to the pitcher. Uh, your impact point's not that bad right here, actually a little bit closer. And uh, your hands are staying on a higher plane, but, you know, you really break your wrist early. Look, now, that's perfect point of impact right there. That's what it should look like. But then look at your hands and the extension. Instead of extending and falling through the ball, you drop your hands down, and it just gives you such a small point to make contact you don't have much uh, room for error letter v across and all that v comes from is because you're late to impact 
laid on your swing, and then you roll, you flip that bat trying to catch up. Uh, you've got a little bat lag, but actually this is in better position than normal. But so what we really want to finish up with right here, lastly, is work on our extension, uh, being on the plane of the ball, and uh, where we make impact.